Inside News investigation has discovered that groups are setting up advice centres for women with unplanned pregnancies with the sole intention of scaring them out of having an abortion. Our special report has shocked doctors and prompted demands for the entire counselling industry to be licensed. The Albany Women's Centre in North London seems a fairly innocuous advice bureau. It's advertised as a drop-in centre for women who believe they're pregnant. It offers free, confidential and friendly information for an unplanned pregnancy. Its Yellow Pages ad finishes, get your life back on track. Hello there. Thank you. Our researchers scheduled an appointment to test the standard of the advice. Have a seat. Thank you. Sorry, I'm a bit late. No, that's OK. She secretly filmed a counsellor who didn't introduce himself as he subjected her to a barrage of information. Medically incorrect, disturbingly graphic, and against all guidelines that govern counselling. Thank you. It included at one stage an anti-abortion video. Is there a real chance that if, if I were to terminate this pregnancy that I wouldn't be able to, to fall pregnant again? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that is definitely one of the risks of, of termination. So, depending on which studies you read, <coughs> The sort of highest risk factor I've seen for that is about one in four women who've been unable to carry a future pregnancy. So, there's so, a, a, so that's quite high. The, the, the video it was yeah. talking about um, rupturing and and and. Yeah, that I mean things like that stay pretty much the same. But for example, one of the things they'll mention um, the cervix at the moment. I think they mention it's almost like bone, so it has to be forced apart to um, to get an opening to take out pregnancy. Nightmares quite common you know what about about children yeah one of the things the reason i always mention adoption is because in post-abortion counseling one of the things you come across quite commonly is women who will have nightmares of children asking them why they weren't adopted <laughs> it's terrible we asked Dr. John Parsons, a leading surgeon and fertility expert at King's College Hospital in London, to watch our film and to give his medical opinion on the advice. I think the emphasis on the frequency of risks is inappropriate. I think some of the risks that are mentioned are either really rare or don't happen at all. Certainly the emphasis on the risk to fertility is completely wrong. To say 25% of people have problems conceiving after a termination of pregnancy is absolutely wrong. The emphasis on it not making a difference when the termination was performed because there were risks at every stage is wrong. It's much more dangerous um, as the uh, length of the pregnancy uh, continues. The description of the cervix as hard as bone is co completely wrong. I mean, everybody knows a bone is hard like concrete um, and the service is not like that. The Albany Centre is linked to others across the country. This is one of them, the Aberdeen Pregnancy Advice Service. Again, our researcher booked an appointment. Again, the expectation was of expert, impartial advice. So in, in, in terms of contraception, what would you recommend? In terms of contraception, I, I would not touch a contraceptor. I wouldn't give it to a dog. There's no way, easy way of explaining it. They rip the, the fetus apart and take it out, piece together again to make sure that there's nothing remains in the um, womb. A very dicey procedure. Um, there's loads of things that could go wrong. You can end up with a perforated uterus because, you know, the doctor is not actually looking inside you. He's actually putting in instruments. Psychiatrically, they, they, you know, some women just can't cope with it. They'll go, maybe it can turn into drink, it can turn into drug abuse, it can turn into promiscuous relationships because they, it can turn into wanting to have a baby and having a baby very quickly afterwards as a replacement mm. for, for that pain, that, um, that sorrow that they feel. Despite an advertising standards ruling against the Aberdeen Pregnancy Advice Service for being misleading, it continues to advertise. Health department rules governing abortion counselling clearly state that a pregnant woman should be fully informed about the choices available to her and that she should receive impartial advice throughout. These clinics, though, never actually recommend abortions, so whatever they say goes completely unmonitored. For example, 25% of women do not suffer fertility problems after abortion. The real figure is less than half a percent. 
This type of misinformation is, according to the profession, unacceptable. Well, you don't get to see many filmed examples of terrible practice, but I would use this as a teaching aid to my student counsellors as to what not to do from start to finish. We'd like to talk to you about um, abortion advice given by the centre. Exactly who is in charge remains unclear, and the counsellors ignored our requests for interview. But after condemnation from their own industry, we tried to ask them for an explanation of their procedures. Could, could you ask to answer some questions about your standards with your... Do you want to tell us why... Well, I don't wish to speak to you, thank you. No. Can you tell us why you don't give you advice, advice, why you say that uh, a quarter of all women who have abortions won't be able to have children? Can you answer those questions? The Department of Health guidelines on how these bureaus should be run is, in fact, heavily weighted against the notion of women being pushed into having an abortion. The guiding principle, though, is that the information they receive is impartial but also medically correct. Critics of this advice bureau and others around the country say that the information that women are given is often medically incorrect and not impartial. The concern is that vulnerable women leave these advice bureaus even more distressed. The only person who can change this position is Tony Blair. He decides that there should or should not be regulation of the talking therapist, and that means that anybody who is a counsellor or a psychotherapist or a psychologist has to be licensed. That's the bottom line, and that's the solution. This is not a story about the rights or wrongs of abortion. This is about the standard of advice and care being offered and the lack of control over those who give counselling. The greatest concern is over the damage that could be caused to those most needing help if the people they turn to have a hidden agenda. Stuart Ramsey, 5 News, North London. Well, I can tell you the government had this response to our investigation. A spokesperson said the Department of Health will look closely at evidence which comes to light that shows members of the public being put at risk by misleading advice. We would strongly recommend that people who need pregnancy advice either go through their GP or registered pregnancy advice bureaus which meet the Department of Health approved standards and we'll let you know of course of any developments.